So, my, my dear students as we have started chapter wise uh, engineering entrance examinations point of view. So, in this also sometimes we cover the shortcuts and some tips and tricks. So, but more shortcuts and more tips and tricks we would like to post in Facebook. So, you had better to follow our Facebook sakalavijja.com. I hope everybody will follow our Facebook there every day you will find one very very important shortcut or tip regarding to crack the any problem in 30 seconds or like that in the in various engineering entrance examinations ok. Let us go to the next problem. Problem number 21 the area of the triangle is measured in terms of small b small c and angle a. If a is equal to 63 degrees and there is an error of 15 minutes in a then the percentage error in the area of the triangle we have to find out. A first option 4 pi by 36 cot 63 degrees, second option 5 by 36 cot 63 degrees, third option 5 pi by 36 cot 63 degrees, fourth option 5 by 18 cot 63 degrees. So, that means this problem is related to the area of the triangle calculated by means of the sides B, C and A. You might have recollected the formula from properties of triangle. So, delta of the triangle can be calculated using two sides and its included angle that is of B, C sin A of B, C sin A. Here B, C are constants where A is not constant, A is varying capital A. So, now here hint write down what is given. Now, A is given 63 degrees and error in A, delta A is equal to 15 minutes, let us change into radians. C, 60 minutes is equal to here 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radians that means 60 minutes. So, for 15 minutes is equal to how many radians? So, this is equal to 15 by 60 into pi by 180 15 1 ja 15 4 ja pi by 720 am I correct? So, this we can write delta A is equal to pi by 720 degrees or 720 no problem pi by 720. Now, what we have to find out here percentage error in the area. Suppose S is the area delta S by S into 100 is equal to how much. Now, this area is calculated by the formula S is equal to of B C sin A. See in order to find out percentage error if the problem is like this for any formula we have to apply logarithm log s is equal to log of b c constant plus log of sin a. Differentiate with respect to a, but write down differentials only log s is 1 by s, s dif differentiation delta s by delta a. This is mere constant differentiation 0, 1 by sin a into sin a differentiation do not forget cos a. Now, multiply delta a, a on both sides, delta s by s is equal to cos a by sin a is cot a into delta a multiply 100 on both sides to get percentage error in s. So, delta s by s into 100 is equal to okay, 100 into cot a into delta a. Very simple a stands for 63, delta a stands for pi by 720. So, 100 into cot 63 degrees pi by 720. 
जीरो जीरो कैंसिल टू फाइव जा टू थर्टी सिक्स जा सो फाइव पाई बाई थर्टी सिक्स इन टू काट सिक्सटी थ्री डिग्रीज परसेंटेज नाउ यू कैन चेक यूर ऑप्शन विच विल बी द राइट ऑप्शन यस थर्ड वन यू आर राइट ट्वेंटी सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम इन ए ट्रैंगल ए बी सी द साइट्स बी कामा सी आर गिवेन इफ देर इज एन एरर डेल्टा ए इन मेजरिंग एंगल ए देन एरर डेल्टा ए इन द साइड स्मॉल ए वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट फर्स्ट ऑप्शन टू डेल्टा डेल्टा ए बाई स्मॉल ए वेर डेल्टा स्टैंड फॉर एरिया ऑफ द ट्रैंगल सेकेंड वन डेल्टा Into delta capital A by 2A. Third one BC sin A delta A. Fourth one three delta delta capital A by small A. So that means this problem should be done by applying cosine rule. As BC are given, the side A is changing. We have the cosine rule that is A square is equal to B square plus C square. Uh, a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a so let us write now so applying cosine rule from cosine rule a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a okay minus 2bc cos a differentiate with respect to capital a a square is 2a and delta a by delta capital a b square 0 c square 0 plus 0 minus 2 bc both are constant cos a differentiation is minus sin a that's all with respect to capital a now we can write 2 2 cancel or you can write 2a delta a is equal to 2bc sin a into delta a 2 to gets cancel we have to find out delta a bc sin a delta a by a You check this option is there? No. So that means we know that delta is equal to half BC sin A. In the previous problem we applied. So this is the formula. What is BC sin A? That is two delta. So now delta A can be rewritten as. So this can be written two delta into delta A by A. This option is there. You check it. Yes, there, the first option. Twenty-third question: If there are one percent, two percent, three percent, four percent errors in R, R one, R two, and R three respectively, then find the percentage error in the area of the triangle is. That means here delta R by R into hundred. Similarly, delta R one by R one into hundred like that is given. So percentage error in the area of the triangle we have to find out. So we have the relation between R one, R two, R three, and delta. Delta means let us take here yes area of the triangle. So that means we have this formula. Hint. So yes square is equal to we have R into R one into R two into R three. So now we can write the dimension here two here dimension one dimension one dimension one dimension one. So this we can write two into delta s by s into hundred is equal to delta r by r into hundred plus delta r one by r one into hundred plus delta r two by r two into hundred. 
plus delta R 3 by R 3 into 100, we can write like this. So, this is nothing but percentage error in R. So, 1 this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, this is 10. We require to find out. So, delta S by S into 100 is equal to 10 by 2 that will be 5 percent. So, here options so one thing not square units not square units not square units only percentages. So, third option will be the right option. Okay, 24th problem. This problem is related to the optics physics chapter. The focal length of a mirror is calculated by means of the formula 1 by V minus 1 by U is equal to 2 by F. If equal errors alpha are made in measuring U and V, then the relative error in F you have to find out. So, that means what is given means 1 by V minus 1 by U is equal to 2 by F delta u is equal to delta v is equal to alpha given they both are equal errors in u and errors error in v are equal. Next relative error in f you are asked to find out relative error in f that means delta f by f you have to calculate it ok let us write it now here delta u is equal to delta v is equal to alpha delta f by f is equal to question mark. So, we have the formula 2 by f is equal to you can write 1 by v minus 1 by u. Differentiate both sides with respect to any one of the variables say when u with respect to u. So, 2 into 1 by f differentiation is minus 1 by f square and f differentiation delta f by delta u ok 1 by e differentiation minus 1 by v square into delta v by delta u. 1 by u differentiation is minus 1 by u square already minus is there plus 1 by u square with respect to u multiply delta u on both sides. This is minus 2 by f square delta f is equal to minus 1 by v square delta v plus 1 by u square delta u this much we shall get it delta u delta v alpha we know. So, for our convenience this can be written now delta minus delta f by f into 2 by f right on it makes no difference I think so. So, delta v delta u both are equal to alpha 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 common this we can write 1 by u square minus 1 by v square into alpha ok. Now, this we can write a square minus b square form 1 by u plus 1 by v into 1 by u minus 1 by v into alpha. See what is 1 by v minus 1 by u 2 by f 1 by u minus 1 by v this we can write minus 2 by f or this we can write minus 2 by f also. So, now this delta f by f into minus 2 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v into minus 2 by f into alpha this this gets cancelled. Therefore, required relative error in f delta f by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v multiplied by alpha. So, what is the right option? Third option is the right option. 